Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Takeda Shingen and the Scorch Clans. Um, over here we can see Clan Kikawa, which has been moving from the base um, all the way to Flats Lagoon with a shitload of weapons we have been producing in the last uh, 16 days since the last episode um, was ended when we had uh, the Ashikaga clan returning from uh, plundering the secret drug farm. Um, and as you can see we have made a lot of money by selling off um, the weapons we produce and also, wait where is it? Yeah, wait, uh, here's also the all the armor we are producing. Um, as we have been gearing up the Kikawa clan and also the Ashikagas. Um, in addition to this, um, the complete Kikawa clan has been equipped with Edge Type 1 weapons. For their mission um, we will be, we will be uh, making today. Um, but before we start, let me show you the Ashikaga clan as it is up to now. Um, we have all of them, they have their inventories full with um, skeleton prosthetics um, from the skin bandit raid we had to endure. Unfortunately the recording of this um, got destroyed but um, I'll promise the next raid of the skin bandits will be um, will be recorded in an, in an episode. And also here you can see um, all five garus um, are full of armor which we will be selling and that's gonna be starting now. And I, But I doubt that um, even this uh, way station here that where there where there is a big um, robotic shop with a lot of money yeah um, we'll have enough money to to buy all of them um, so in regards of making money, if you have, let's say, either a, a big group like me or like um, a very strong group, like with skills in 70s or 80s, hunting skin bandits and maybe even the crap people with the mod I am, I'm, I'm, I'm running um, is is the best way of uh, making money in Kenji. Because as you can see, 7,000, so each skin bandit, if you flay him, um, and we don't even take the weapons, gives you like 30k in loot, uh, which is massive yeah okay so he doesn't have any more money maybe if we are lucky and that's almost f 500 grand <coughs> that might sound uh, quite a lot but considering that we have 156 uh warriors right now oh now he only has 24k it's not even yeah that's not even enough for that um right so we can we can go over here and see how much he has let's trade okay he has 50 that's yeah it's also not very much yeah yeah but and now we can only try the the bar and then we're gonna move on to sell everything that the Kikawa clan has uh, on their backpacks and then get moving down south it's 25k that's nothing yeah. do we need something? no we have everything Possibly needed from it. Oh, may, well, no, grand fish they don't have. Okay, so they're gonna stay here. Uh, maybe move around a bit. As you can see, everyone is, is carrying a a prisoner because we did some strength training on the way down here. And now let's see what Clan Kikawa can can acquire. Well, of course we're gonna sell the armor to the armor guy and then see what comes out of it let's trade and 
get all these weapons out of our inventories. We're gonna, we're, we're, let's, we're gonna be from this episode. We're gonna be with the, the main suppliers for the for the tech hunters and the shinobis for, for for weapons and armor. Okay, but it took a while until we got here, and I think it's about time to take the Scorch Clans to the next level. Um, as the task we are up to today is not an easy one. Alright. Okay, where is it? Yeah, over here it starts. No, not close. Alright, let's see. And we have a lot of weapons. And now the armor. Each of those sells for 7.5k. That is, that's quite some money. It's it's too much to just throw away or, or use in the... Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need in our inventories. Because the fight we are up to will be challenge enough. Because we are going to challenge today spiders. We're gonna be hunting for skeleton spiders MK2. And now the whole troop, yeah, a lot faster. And also we have um, included Bite in our team since okay he's he's he doesn't have a lot of he doesn't have good stats but he was a loyal dog until now and he is perfectly suited for to uh, to carry uh, medics and food and let me show you for one second the complete summary of um, the clans we have until now um we have over here wait where do we have it uh where is it okay or is it in saigusa wait i bought with some guy i think i bought um <laughs> Wait, where is it? Hmm. Ah, oh, maybe it's in the... Okay, I have to look this up. But, the electric workbench, we can have powered AI cores. And I have been able to to buy the powered AI construction guide from an NPC in um, in Black Desert City. It's called Black Dog or something, and it's I think it costs like forty two k per. Um, wait, but I want to see where is. Okay, we have to, I have to check again where the where I put the it's. <laughs> this is annoying. All right, all right, all right. Did we put it here in the general boxes? No. Nope. We did not. Who did I send up there? Was it someone of the Ashikaga? No. Okay, they have still a lot of stuff. Um, right, I will have to look this up. Um, so, when the the skeleton spiders MK2, which are roaming around, um, will be delivering us uh, broken powered AI cores, and if we collect enough of them, we will be able to uh, craft 
um, these powered AI cores, which will enable us to research Tech Level 7. And Tech Level 7 I have never researched so far in Kenshi, um, so therefore it will be highly interesting to see what can be done there. So, without further delay, we're going to start our long journey south, um, all the way to Cheetah's Run. Because in Cheetah's Run, there are there are roaming um, groups of <coughs> of um, of skeleton spiders MK2. I was first thinking maybe we go to um, we go to the Hook, because there are also some, especially around Sordon, there are um, those spiders roam around pretty frequently. And another advantage would be that we can. Um, that we can kill these uh, lost howlers for the um, uh, for the shrieking bandit tablets, um, and the shrieking bandits have some quite good armor, which I want to utilize for the clans, because in Bone Pale and Ribcage Town is another uh, Scorchlander only faction, and Sumitsu has been waiting very patiently to um, be able to recruit fellow members of his clan into the Scorched Empire. Um, these guys have not very high stats, um, so it will be a very nice um, opportunity to start uh, training them, equipping them, and uh, let's say, okay, not, not doing a step back, but having a cool addition um, to the Scorched Empire. So. As said before, let's march Clan Kikawa south. First of all, we will visit Morn. And in Morn there is also something I would like to show you, but step by step. So, um... As long as the Kikawa clan is marching south and swimming and being awfully slow at it, I want to explain to you what the next, uh, yeah, the next targets for for our playthroughs will be. And I want to make it as interesting as possible by six Womb Raptor. Well, I have... Some Swamp Raptors are really like... Look, look at this guy. He's adult with 90 only. And he's got 73 strength already. Um, that is also something um, which, which the, the Hivers in my, in my Kung Fu Hive playthrough um, are utilizing. Uh, because uh, a pack animal with 90 strength is a blessing. Um, it can carry, I think, up to 900 kilograms without being slowed down um, significantly. And that is, that's really, when you when you do a lot of uh, scouting and stuff, that's really, really uh, pleasant. And also, um, a Swamp Raptor with 90 strength, he hits, he hits like a tank. Like really, like a tank. He 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 gets down big things in like two hits. Um, if he if he hits the right um, locations, and yeah, it makes the whole game more interesting. Um, we will, I think, yeah, we will have to swim a little bit more. So I will be right back. All right, everybody, we have made it almost to the coast. Um, without any, any, let's say, major interference. And I'm now planning to see where this can lead us. I've never been down here. I've only heard from rumors that down here are these um, skeleton spiders, and of course the. Oh, wait. 
what's this over there? It's okay, that's some Garu only. And some big things. Who's fighting here? Oh, that's some Egyptians <laughs> fighting fighting gorilla bandits. Okay. Ah, and they have... okay. We'll have to check um, if maybe maybe we... we yeah, this um, pendulum axis. Um, we need the blueprints for those still. As we um, we have not been able to find them in, in another <coughs> uh, weapon shop. So, let's see where this is gonna lead us. Ah, okay, and that's Gorilla Bandits, right? Yeah. Well, that shouldn't be an issue. Let's move fast so we can pass them. I think, come on, uh, the spiders get those Gorilla Bandits and not us. Yeah, alright. Here we are, here we are. What is this? Okay. Oh, <laughs> right, that is a wall of big things. But it's getting dark. And wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's also some some goons. Oh, we, I think we... What is this? A Boneyard Wolf Alpha. And also some Egyptians again. These Egyptians are part of um, of a, a, like let's say a weapon adding mod, um, where we have these pendulum axes and some other weapons from. And what is this? That's quite some interesting stuff. Okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna move around here. I'm ignoring um, smaller interferences with um, in, in, in Kajun right now, just for the sake of uh, of getting where we have to be. Otherwise we would be uh, hopping back and forth all the time. Um, yeah, and now it's dark and the beakers don't see us so good anymore. So as it seems, we will be... Wait, who is this? Ah, this is what I meant here, the bone pack. Ah, no, not... not no, 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 that's not them. Um, there's the bone pack. And there is... Wait. A bone pile. And there's Ribcage Town. I think Ribcage Town is, is the Scotland faction I was, I was talking about before. And wait, who is this? Ah, uh, and uh, these also seem to be only Scotchlanders. That's the Gutter Gang. Um, so the Gutter Gang and the Ribcage guys, um, I think will be will be the next uh, clans we are recruiting for for our empire. But that's a little bit more down the road. So, and as I said, we're trying not to get into any fights until we have reached our destination. Because I think these spiders will be tough enough for us. Alright, okay, there's a trade caravan. Well, <laughs> that's, that's the grease goons, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, we must add something. No. I think not in this playthrough. So let's see. Okay, now we are in the Royal Valley. Wait, I missed that. Let's just see if we can find some spiders. Oh no, is that acid rain? Or who is attacking us? 
Ah, no, it's only bone dogs. Okay, bone dogs are okay. Let's check. I have myself not been down here with the Genesis mod and as so it's quite interesting to see what kind of creatures will be lurking in the dark. Oh wait. I think we have to get rid of that bone dog here. Where is it? Hidden between all the legs. Where is it? That's that's what I wanted to see. Bone dogs should not be a problem right now. Ah, but here. Okay, here we have the spiders. Okay, let me let me check the stats real quick. Okay, that's only iron spiders. Okay, iron spiders. No, we don't want iron spiders. We're gonna ignore them. And I think we can because, okay, a butcher spider. Yeah, I think we have to go like in this region uh, who's uh, okay who's who's this the village of scale or oh, what what was the name scale yeah power station power station okay seems empty hmm Let's check. Let's check what is going on in here. But careful. Since we don't know. Okay, you, are, you have a speed of 26. You can run if you need to. Your other guys go open. Open here. Okay, that's empty. Okay, who is in here? Oh, there are some of oh, these error code skeletons. I don't I don't want to have anything to do with them right now. We we're going to leave this um, until later, we, because we are on a, on a determined mission. And I don't want to mess up my warriors before we even meet the spiders. There are some bone dogs again. Quite a journey we're making here. And I hope the journey was not for nothing. Some bone dogs again, let's let's move around them. Since every damage we take right now will be Jesus Christ, that's a lot of bone dogs here. Okay, there is an outpost. Um, okay, that's an armory. There, there ought to be a lot of iron spiders inside. 
but we don't want those right now. We are looking for other spiders. But where are they? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's only iron spiders? That's fishmen. Where are the iron spiders MK2? They should be here. Nope, only iron spiders. Strange. So only some okay that's gurglers all right all right broken watchtower these are some dogs where are these damn spiders? I mean, this is strange. I want to find these iron spiders. All right, all right. Oh, that's now we got ourselves into a fight. Yeah, but only, but only with here. Nothing serious. Bone dog alpha. Well, I guess we have to walk all the way back. Ah, that's settlers, as far as I can see. Yeah and the fishmen are taking them down. These alpha gurglers are brutally strong. They, look at the hit points they have. Well, I don't see right now where there should be these these MK2 spiders. So I guess we're gonna have to walk all the way back into the hook and then check where we can find them and yeah so so you don't have to watch me walking back all the time I will be right back when we reached the hook all right everybody we have sold with clan Ashikaga at least all the stuff the guys were carrying and we're having a bit of a situation right now. Um, the Kikawa clan is just on the way back here 
but the problem is that we have a skin harvest moving towards Kajun and with two of the clans missing uh, that's quite difficult let's see um, all right but the Ashikaga clan should be able to reach Kajun before and we must see that we have them arrive before the skin harvest comes because with the Kikawa clan which is one of our strongest fighting clans okay yeah we have we have those weapons ready um, he can he can put those weapons over here and then there is space for these weapons all right okay they don't have steel right that's okay okay it's producing um, but a skin harvest with two of the clans missing that's gonna be too much of a challenge um, I'm not sure well, well I'm okay I'm almost sure that the that the Kikawas will not reach Kayun before the harvest arrives um, nevertheless I think we will have to move them backwards um, right in this direction here so that we can intercept any skin bandits that manage to yeah we will yeah we will have to get them back because I do not think that we will be able to to fend off the skin harvest um, yeah the skin harvest will be a big problem because the skin bandits have they have pretty tough stats um, they're using only blunt weapons um, which our uh, <coughs> which our armor doesn't protect against too, be or too well and I don't want any of our guys to be flayed to death um, by these alright Mokima is in the back as always yeah so um, we will rush them back and the grand finale of this series will be when the skin harvest arrives at Kajun to rob our guys of their skins or at least to, kid to kidnap them to bring them down to their base so let's hope everything works out as planned okay everybody as you can see the march towards yeah the expedition number five where we wanted to intercept the backcoming skin harvest did not work out really nicely as the southern hive intercepted the Kikawa clan on the march um, the Ashikagas we have been able to to put back uh, towards um, Kajun and equip them with the edge type 1 weapons we have been crafting for them uh, but the interception here is quite an issue I think we will be able to manage it yeah now it's it's a lot of green yeah get these freaking hypers down yeah come on get them down yeah fortunately the guys have edge type 1 weapons so every hit counts for at least some damage against the hivers but that's all time we are missing 
when we want to get back okay you get up you get up okay they are unconscious still but okay bite I don't care come on get them down and now let's let's get their heads so they don't get back up that's another hiver down there get these heads because we need to get have them stay down and when you take a head of somebody he usually dies so let's get these hivers beheaded so that we can heal up and continue our journey yeah come on get him down and heal up friends you are needed desperately at Kajun right heal up everybody okay nobody is like seriously injured okay is there any hiver still alive I don't hope well, he's hiding here, <laughs> but we find you. Well, he's dead already. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay, everybody, go medic. Yeah, and also, as if it wasn't enough, the hill marauders decided to raid our base. But that's not going to be a big issue since. Um, yeah, since even the crap people which we are allied with are fighting the the hill marauders but it's gonna be very very intense um, when we try to repulse yeah look at that the, the skin the hill marauders they come in numbers that's that's the problem with it The Ashikagas now hit also very hard with their new um, uh, Edge Type 1, yeah, 156 damage. That's, that's quite some, yeah. And Fox, he still is, a, uh, <laughs> he still is using uh, Bounty Hunter weapons and armor. And oh, oh, of course, as if we didn't have enough trouble, there are also some... <laughs> this. I, that's that's gonna be very interesting um, maybe I even make a full new episode with the with the repulsing the screen the the skin um, harvest because that's that's gonna take oh that's gonna take some while all right how, how in what shape are they can they still move okay Oh yeah, he's he's getting up. Okay. No, ah, no, they are slowed down. Jesus, it's not very good. I don't like this at all. Um. All right. And where's? Who is this? What are you doing up here? You go down here. They will be. There's no chance that they will arrive in time to to support against the skin harvest because the skin harvest is about to arrive right now. That is okay. And here's some chaos. So what we will do? We're gonna take everybody off. Um, hold or something also the Mura clan that's not gonna work for now we still have the Ashina clan which is a quite strong warrior clan over here but they have st they don't have upgraded weapons until now so <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I will take the clan Ashina 
and try to repulse wait where is the skin is this already the skin harvest no also of course reavers also come and join the party all right so let's take clan ashina and take care of this freaking land bed here yeah take the meat and get them ah here, here here's the skin harvest already so what I will try to do is I will try to intercept them one by one as they come in Because otherwise, we're gonna have a really bad situation here. Um, so you three are going to take on that guy, and the Ashikaga also will help with their with their new weapons. All go up here. Um, four of you can get this guy. And you three get that guy. You two get him. And you also help them. Because here come the skin bandits in force. And that's gonna be a really, really bad situation. Good thing is they're now picking up um, dead. What is this? Yeah, pirates. And. When the Ashina and the Ashikaga are waiting, maybe we can repulse the attack. Um, okay, we, we need the Usugi also up here. The Usugi also must come this way. Yep, Jesus Christ, that is going to be a tough battle. So I think we're going to have a long episode here. Okay, the Ashikaga. Ashikaga, you're going to go attack all. Yeah, get them. Yeah, at least your weapons hit quite hard now. Yeah, but you're going down too quick. All right, that's, that's a lot of red. Uh, thankfully, our crap allies are taking some of the pressure off us from this fight. Now that's, that's, that's not nice what is happening here. See, the Ashina also go unconscious because, yeah, but the, the crabs are still here. Okay, we just have to see that the freaking skin bandits don't run off with some of our guys. Yeah, come on, get this guy. Yes, come on guys, fight. Right, right. Okay, what is going on here? Yeah. And <clears throat> so this is again what I wanted to show you. They have four limbs each. Seven, seven, six, five and six, three. So that's 14 and 15, 29. And then if you are considering, um, for example, stealing the weapons also, that's 30k per uh, skin bandit. Thankfully, you can and you can just steal this broken CPU unit and then they are dead. So I think it's crucial that we, we steal those. And also I wanna I wanna have these buzzer blade slingers. Right? So that's a couple of them dead at least. Um and we need to get as many of them not to stand up again as we can. Because they are so sneaky with... Uh, wait, what are you doing? 
what operating machine you should f you should stand and fight with your brothers you are the the crafter clan but it's no excuse Jesus that's that's quite a massacre yeah come on yeah get him down where's where is Shingen yeah he's fighting with his men as he should but yeah you get your leg stitched up again well, you should fight all attack all so wait 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 no you don't follow anybody here you just take care that nobody or none of your com comrades is carried off to the skin bandits yeah yeah that looks not bad Jesus he's dishing out even with one hand he's dishing out some freaking damage While all the while clan Kikawa is standing around okay guys where, where, why don't you go to the rest of your people move down there and we fight for our brothers you idiot we have other problems than only the Reavers yeah and you see this is what I was fearing the skin bandits start to drag off our guys so we have three guys here oh no they're fighting okay are they are these our guys wait 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 no they 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 are not being dragged off they follow that is not acceptable right now you go back and be glad if nobody carries you away I don't care if they catch I don't care at all if they catch um, well that seems as if we have been able to repulse the attack um, but only I think because it didn't come in full force and a lot of the and a lot of the skin bandits just carried off um, dead hill marauders so maybe their their attack was was a blessing rather than um, a curse and yeah that doesn't look too bad we just have to see who is up here is maybe somebody still is Yoshiaki no you not follow you move back to base yeah he has a quite good one now but whew, thankfully the skin bandits have been repulsed Yeah, come on, get it. Exactly, get him while he's down. And, yeah. This also could be <coughs> quite some new money we take in. Because now the looting can start. And none of you is going to get away. Come on, get him down. Yes, Mazatsugu with his frame axe got him a big hit. Edge type 1 frame axe, yeah, that's what we want to see. Exactly. Mitsuyori also, the badass. That's also a nice screenshot. thankfully this worked out better than I had expected 
and I think with yeah yeah with the skin harvest being repulsed we're gonna end this episode um, from now on I will I will not make so big breaks um, in uh, in the different episodes so you guys can follow the story uh, a lot better um, because some guys have told me that these large breaks are not really nice to watch and what you guys want to see is what I will record of course so thanks everybody for watching um, if you like what you've seen um, leave a like or a subscription and we're gonna be back very soon with the next episode of Takeda Shingen and the Scorched Clans and with the last skin bandits going down under the blades of the, of the clans I say Gnirk over and out